Wood grain here with a very nice looking but not very nice working TV DVD combo unit by Magnasonic. This is from around 2006, right near the end of the CRT era. And you can hear that motor trying to go, and this is typical in a lot of these TV DVDs. Uh, at least my theory is that the belt has come off or has disintegrated. There's a little belt that should move off of that motor and activate that tray to come out. And of course that's not happening. So, I've actually got a client inter interested in this one. And uh, let's see if we can get this working for them. I happen to have uh, some replacement belts if need be. So we're going to actually open her up and see what we can do for this little guy. Because otherwise, that picture looks great. Looks like a barely used set. If you look at the remote here, not much wear and tear at all on the remote, which is an indicator again. This wasn't used very much. But somewhere along the way, that belt has come off or has come apart. Let's uh, open her up, see what we can do. Looks like one, two, three, four, five screws. And uh, get yourself one of these handy little mini kits from Amazon. They have this extension ability, and that's great for these old sets to get into those hard to reach screws. Also great for uh, Macintosh classic era computers if you want to open those up. I'll spare you the opening montage and we'll get right to it here. Well, we got this thing about halfway open here. I just took some photos of all the wires I may have to detach, but I've noticed something as we jiggled this. Hey, look at that. It looks like we may have found in there. Favorite hymns of inspiration and hope. Looks like a brand new CD, you know? How about that? Could be worth something. You can take a look here. This is a Thai CRT. And that would explain why it's so nice and clear. Uh, I've had really good luck with things made in Thailand. And there you go. Let's uh, see if this thing uh, gets working. You can see the DVD mechanism in there. It's a separate unit, and worst case, we will. Uh, detach that and uh, take a look at the belt if uh, we can. So, that's the DVD tray open and if you look right up here you will see that that is snapped. That's got to be the issue right there. So uh, we're only going to have to semi take this thing apart. I've already pulled off a lot of the uh, connectors unfortunately but that's okay I took some pictures uh, should go back together nicely let's see if we can loop in a, a new cable right there a new belt okay we've got some good candidates here let's just put this back together and see if uh, one of my sizes here will be equivalent let's see I think this one will be just fine let's see what what do you think that's about the same. I'd say so. Let's give it a try. All right. So we've got our new band on there. And it's got a little bit of tension on there. As you can see, maybe we can show you here. It does turn it. You can see things moving. So. Now a matter of reattaching all these uh, errant cables that I detached through the process and hopefully that's going to be enough to do it. Look at that. So literally just pulled out the unit enough without having to unscrew it. Found a o-ring that was similar size. It's okay to go slightly smaller to get a little extra tension. You want it to be stable on there and not prone to flipping off. So try not to get it twisted and uh, hopefully you'll have a, a working player. Okay, signs of a job well done. Let's see if this thing will power on 
Make sure we connected everything properly and see if that DVD player will work now. So we got power. Let's see if this baby will load up. Here it is. We're happy with that. Let's go to TV DVD. We don't hear a buzzing anymore. And would you look at that. Working. If you look just inside, you might even be able to see that rotating knob. There it is. There's that band we replaced. I suppose you could fish in with a pair of uh, tweezers and replace it that way without taking uh, the TV apart, but regardless, we've got it working. So let's see if it'll read something here. Let's get our little hymnal CD back. Well, it's a magical thing. A working television just in time to sell to a customer. All right, let's see if we can get a proper DVD working in this thing. Wait for it. It likes it. Well, very straightforward repair. Just take it apart. Make sure you have a equivalent size o-ring and put it all back together if you're not comfortable with high voltage don't do it yourself get some help from someone do not open the back of these things unless you really feel you know what you're doing but anyway hope you enjoy We just passed the point of no return. Including two of the Duke's most memorable films never before released on DVD or video. The Academy Award winning The High and the Mighty on a two-disc special edition DVD set. I like the way you said that. And the epic story of aviation and survival. Only is now to get the whole thing and as a search party. There you go. That's all it takes. Also on a special edition DVD. Open up the back. Anything. Bring that tray out. Put in a new O-ring. And he'll be high and mighty like the Duke. See you next time, Pilgrim.